So yeah, some women in the United States are still trying to talk down on men who obtain passports and try to find a suitable mate. We're not talking about the passport tricks. We're not talking about them. I don't like a passport trick at all. You can trick right here in America. You ain't got to travel overseas to do that. And then when you're tricking overseas, you're going into some places you don't know where you not at. I'm going to say that much. And a lot of you are starting to lose your life behind the tricking. Tricking is getting very dangerous for some of you. But we talk about the ones who actually go into countries and actually looking for viable relationships. You got this particular woman that's going to call men like yourself losers. And I want you to hear why. So what does that tell you if you now have to go across? Nobody wants you here in the United States. You now have to travel halfway across the world to find a wife. You are unable to find a wife where you live. You have to travel halfway across the world to find somebody. That means you're a loser. I'm sorry. If you can't find a wife where you live, you have to travel and become a passport bro. You're a loser. Okay. Does Elon Musk have to travel to Brazil to find a wife? Did Jeff Bezos have to travel halfway across the world to find somebody? No. Okay. Most successful men marry women in the United States. Okay. Very rarely are they going and becoming a passport bro. Okay. Passport bro is for broke or middle income men. Okay. I don't know of any men who are high earners who are flocking across the country to find a wife. Now, ma'am, listen, I'm, and I'm going to try to say this in the, in the most nice constructive way possible. I'm not going to go into, I'll go into a row session like I could, but I'm not going to do that. Only thing I'm going to say is before you call someone else a name, there's names people can call you, ma'am. And if you go back and watch that video, something I noticed with you right off the back, when you started to talk, I would say in order for you to be a winner, ma'am, you need to visit your local dentist and let him or her, you know, give you a, a particular treatment plan um, to, to help you. And I'm saying that to help you because I'm saying that out of love. OK, I'm not saying that out of any malice. I, I want I want you to have some pearly whites. I want you to I want you to do that. You understand? Listen, and that's coming from me. At one point in time, my teeth wasn't looking good either. I made sure to take care of that. You know what I'm saying? I made sure to take care of it. So so. It, I, I, I've been in your, well, no, my, my stuff wasn't like that, but at, at least I, I've been in your shoes to a point where I feel like, Hey, you know what? I need to correct my status here. You understand? Now let's get into, to, to the reverse psychology that she's using in this video with the name calling. If the passport bros are losers. Okay. Most women don't want a loser in every sense of the word. Most women don't want a loser. So if the passport bro is a loser, then why are you driving making videos about loser men who you don't even want yourself? That's, that's, that's number one. Number two, since you don't want those loser men, why are you making videos about them leaving and going to other countries in God's green earth for a companion. Remember they're losers. So if you say they're losers, probably the majority in the, in the country that we're in will say they're losers too. Wouldn't you be like, Oh, I'm glad a loser is away from me. Cause I didn't want him. So like, yes, even the quote unquote losers deserve love too. Ma'am, are you so mean that you don't want a loser to have anyone, maybe that loser can get with a woman and she help him become a winner. You ever thought about that? But see, it's reverse psychology. See, they understand and, and, and the research has been done that the majority of people who hold us passports have viable income. And the threat of that is the men that have the viable income are removing themselves from the dating pool. And I won't have opportunity to get to these men and I will have to deal with the real simps and the real scrubs who are the losers, the true losers in society. And I don't want that. So I'm going to call those men who make viable income losers to shame them to stay here and don't go to other countries 
Listen, with sales of the countries, the women don't sell the other country to be honest with you. It's not the women. Yeah, the women could, 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 but listen, it is the power of the U.S. dollar is what really sells those other countries. The women is just kind of like icing on the cake for them, but it's your one dollar goes a long way in other countries. So if you're a man that has a business and you making money remotely, all you need is an internet connection to make your money and you're making it in USD and you're living outside this country. And we're not talking about a Western country. We're talking about if you're an African nation, you good. If you are in Latin America, you good. If you are in the Caribbean, you good. If you are in Asian countries, you're good. If you want to be in the Middle East for whatever reason you want to be, you're good. You understand? And that's what it is. Listen, a hundred thousand dollars a year, hell, even fifty thousand dollars a year is considered rich in a lot of countries. He's considered rich, and he will have a higher caliber woman in that country making fifty thousand than what he can get here in America. And those ladies which was raised in families where they were raised to be wives, just like in this country. In this country, it was the culture to raise the daughters to be wives, to teach them how to cook, teach them how to clean, teach them how to be respectful, you know, not be out here being 304s, those sort of things. You understand? Work with and build with your man. That was the culture in the United States of America for a very long time. That culture just kind of switched you know, and I even asked my father about this. He said that started in the 1970s and then it just got, it just started snowballing even more in the 1980s and then, you know, the nineties. And then now you get to where you at today. So listen, um, if a man says he want a woman that is, you know, a traditional woman, then that's what he wants. And he'll go get it. See one thing men do men move with their feet. Men is not going to be sitting up here trying to beg you know, women who have a power no other woman have in the world is just true. Western women have a power that no other woman in the world have, right? Why would he try to correct that? You know, it's like the old people say, you can't make a crooked branch straight. And a man is not going to stress himself out to try to straighten that branch when he can go get a straight branch somewhere else. That's the power of choice. See, the issue that they have is that at one point in time in this country, the men had to deal with that. So they had a monopoly. When someone has a monopoly, if a company has a monopoly, they treat their customers any old way because they got a monopoly. They, they gonna have to put up with it. But when the when, but when people come into the market, a bunch of companies come into the market and that customer who's not being treated right, now got a choice to go several other places. You know what I'm saying? That makes the company they had them forever in fear. And that's when you see, you see that same company slashing prices, slashing this, slashing that, because the monopoly's over. Well, it's like that in the dating market for men. We live in a globalized society now. So it's easy to get to, to and from. Like, for instance, when me and my wife went to Costa Rica, from Houston to Costa Rica was three and a half hours. So, so if a brother will want met a, met a sister in Costa Rica, cause they got plenty of sisters in Costa Rica. So if a brother met a sister in Costa Rica, he could fly right here from Houston three and a half hours and he landed, he landed right down Costa Rica. So if he going to Costa Rica, he can go see, he can go over there and, and, and chill his nerves for three months if he want to visa free. Um, you know, if he, he working remote or if he could say, you know, I'm, I'm off, I'm, you know, I work basically four days a week or whatever. So I'm, I'm be, I'm gonna go back down, you know, go back down Costa Rica, my girl, eventually either move up here, or I'll move down there or whatever the case may be. That's got situations like that. And, and the thing is when the brothers go to a place like Costa Rica or, or you know, places like that, and it's still traditional and they still want black women. It's not that they want women of other communities. They, they still want black women. You can't compete with that. You can't. If the brothers want to go to the African continent, they, now you can't go as quick as you can go to a Costa Rica or, you know, stuff like that. Right. But I'm just saying, or maybe he got a girl in Barbados or something. Right. 
he can get to Barbados pretty quick. It was actually cheaper to go to Costa Rica than he has Barbados. I know it's crazy. But I'm saying is he can do that if he got money. So the shaming tax is just not going to work. You, you either compete with the women of the global market. You got the home field advantage, right? So since you got the home field advantage, then you get those men. Change your ways to get these men. That way they don't have to go nowhere. Most of these men prefer to get y'all here in America. They really don't want to go overseas to do anything. Going overseas is a last resort because they're like, wait a minute, I don't want to be by myself, but I'm not going to put up that attitude either. I'm not going to be one of these guys you call just for a, a dinner date just because you don't want to buy food. Oh, no, 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 no. That's a waste of my time and money. These guys are saying they don't want to go on no dinner date with y'all. And, and you talking to other dudes while you're on a dinner date. You know, that they don't want to put up with that. And they don't have to. So change your ways. Why don't you befriend those some of those women in other countries? Or even some that they even immigrated here and still got some of those values and learn from them and then change your ways into their ways. You know, I mean, but you don't have to though. I, I'm not, I'm never going to tell you to change into something you don't want to change into continue to do you. And then, you know, you can get the simps and, and the scrubs. I mean, but you're not going to be happy with them at the end of the day. We both know that.